is my great pleasure to welcome you here in Croatia, in beautiful city of Opatia, to 36th symposium or annual meeting of Diabetes and Nutrition Study Group. I was honored, together with my team, our organizing team, with scientific committee, to have that opportunity to host this annual meeting again. For us, it's an honor. It's an honor for us because we are a small country, only 150 diabetologists work here, and only population of 4.2 million. In comparison to many other countries, we are nobody from nowhere. But we are happy because we have beautiful city, we have beautiful capitals uh, of Zagreb, but beautiful Rijeka, Osijek split as the main cities, and also we have beautiful seaside coast. I hope that you will enjoy in Croatia, that you will enjoy this meeting, and on behalf of Diabetes Nutrition Study Group, on behalf of the president of the group, uh, Professor Ulf Riserus, who will join us very soon, he is on the way here, I would like to welcome you, and I would like to wish you a fruitful meeting, but also a pleasant stay here in Opatia. Thank you. And as a local patriot, I have to speak about diabetes and Croatia. In next four hours, I will speak about diabetes in Croatia. <laughs> but all of you, you are aware that more than 400 people, uh, 400 million people worldwide have diabetes. And the estimation of International Diabetes Federation is that more than 620 million people will have diabetes within the next two decades. But numbers means nothing. But on the other side, we can say that every three seconds, one person gets diabetes. Every six seconds, one person died due to diabetes-related complications. Can you imagine how many people will get diabetes within the next three and a half hours during my presentation? One limb amputation every 20 seconds. Four million people died last year due to diabetes. Can you imagine? The total population of Republic of Croatia died just because of having diabetes. And the number of uh, people with diabetes and number of death caused by diabetes-related complications are more than any other chronic and acute disease. But more than 50% of people with diabetes uh, are undiagnosed. In Republic of Croatia, the total population, as I already mentioned, is 4.2 million. We have 286,000 registered people with diabetes in 2017. But the estimations are that more than 450,000 people have diabetes. It's the third biggest region in Croatia after our capital, according to population, split and diabetes. According to our uh, national register, we can say that uh, less than 30% of people have good regulation of diabetes, and you can see it here. And also fasting glycemia, postprandial glycemia, cholesterol or lipid profile, blood pressure, BMI below uh, 30, and here are the list of therapies. Unfortunately, we have approximately uh, 450 people, 1,000 people with diabetes. And the cost of treatment of diabetes, you can see it here. This was the first study in 2009. Croatian uh, government or Croatian national insurance company spent approximately 300 million euros for treatment of diabetes. In that period of time, it was approximately 11% of total expenses of na our national insurance company. And from that amount of money, 86% went to the treatment of chronic complications. You can see it here. Sweden, Finland, European region, and Croatia. This is the cost and also uh, cost of diabetes in Croatia per capita. We have another study and uh, that study was published last year. And the cost of treatment of diabetes 2016 were 
600 million euros, which means that we spent almost 20% of our national health expenditure to treatment of diabetes. From that amount, 88% were cost of chronic complications, and only 8% cost of medical, uh, diabetes medication. So the cost of diabetes doubled in the last eight years, and you can see it, the treatment of complication and cost of treatment even increased for two percentage. Cost of uh, cardiovascular complications treatment is approximately 57%. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we can ask ourselves why. In Croatia, diabetes is fifth cause of death. Approximately 2,000 euro we spend per person with diabetes in Croatia. This is Croatian national currency, Kuna. Probably you already saw it. And I hope that you will spend a lot of Kunas within the next few days. And I'm, I was not paid by Ministry of uh, Tourism, but I am local patriot and I like this, uh, this country so much. We know that diabetes shortened life duration for approximately five to eight years. We know that diabetes is a cardiovascular disease. We know that management of cardiovascular complications is crucial if we would like, uh, if we would like to decrease the cost of treatment of diabetes. But reality in Croatia is listed here. 150 endocrinologists, diabetologists. 2,500 general practitioners, 40 to 80 patients per general practitioner per day. It's not realistic. <laughs> it's not realistic to fight against diabetes in these uh, circumstances. So we need global forces, and we do have global forces for endocrinology and diabetology. And in Croatia, Prior, uh, it was four years of general internal medicine and two years of fellowship in endocrinology and diabetology. Right now, we are like in uh, all European countries, five years of fellowship in endocrinology and diabetology, two years of general internal medicine, plus two years of fellowship of endocrinology and diabetology. Croatian Society for Diabetes and Metabolic Disorders uh, of Croatian Medical Association was established in 1972. Uh, and it was founded by late Professor Škrabalo. Professor Škrabalo was very famous, and uh, probably you heard from him. And we became a member of IDF recently, three years ago, and past presidents are listed here. Dr. Bear, Professor Metelko, who is here in the first row, and also Professor Kokic, who was supposed to join us, but unfortunately he will not join us because he's, um, he has some dis disability right now. We can ask ourselves, is there any solution in that case for treatment and to fight against diabetes in our country? We can think globally. We can be part of uh, many different uh, associations, even part of IDF, but also we have to act locally. And so we increased cooperation between healthcare professionals and patients. We must to implement our national uh, diabetes program, collaboration with Ministry of Health, but also with National Insurance Company, National Institute for Public Health, but also uh, NGOs of people with diabetes. I can show you our experience within the last five years. What we succeed with cooper better cooperation and uh, uh, partnership with uh, all those uh, organizations and NGOs. We published new guidelines for treatment of type 2 diabetes. These were our first guidelines 2000, published 2011. We published new guidelines two years ago, uh, and also uh, we, uh, we emphasized the importance of, uh, importance of uh, individualized approach. These are schematic presentation of pharmacological approach, and it's the same as almost in all different guidelines. And I'm proud to say as the president of Croatian Society for Diabetes that in Croatia, our people with diabetes are able to have all those treatment um, for diabetes as any uh, other person with diabetes worldwide. Also uh, for basic principles for insulin treatment. 
Within the last few years, we, uh, we achieved that modern basal insulin analogs are available for people with diabetes in Croatia with very small co-payment. We ensure 100 insulin pumps per year are fully reimbursed. And number of test trips for pediatric population increased from 2,000 to 2,500. And recently, uh, we achieved that uh, our national insurance company allowed for kids and uh, for type 1 uh, diabetes population to have CGM and flash glucose monitoring system as well. We organized several conferences to, uh, together and postgraduate courses. And I would like to remind you again uh, when we were first time uh, host of uh, this uh, group uh, annual meeting, it was 2013. And you can see it, a list of international speakers. It was in Dubrovnik in July 2013. And can you imagine that immediately, the day after uh, this conference uh, finished, we became the full member of European com uh, community or European Union. So we had a celebration right now there. I don't know, should, uh, is, was it correct to, uh, to celebrate or not, but it's, it's popular to be part of EU, so I can say that we are proud and happy that to be part of EU. 2014, we organized for the very first time EISD uh, postgraduate course in Zagreb, and list of international speakers here. 2015, we organized uh, in Pula, our national conference, uh, diabetes conference, and uh, I would like to uh, take opportunity to express my gratitude to Professor Iserus and also uh, Professor uh, Simon Piper for helping us to organize the first postgraduate course on diabetes and nutrition of Diabetes Nutrition Study gr uh, Group. Again, 2017, we organized uh, another EISD uh, postgraduate course, uh, and we entitled it uh, as Professor Zdenko Škrabalo postgraduate course uh, in gratitude to late Professor Škrabalo. And actually, it wasn't the first time, 2014, when we organized EISD course, but we, are, we were part of uh, former Yugoslavia, and Yugos in Yugoslavia, 2000, uh, 1972 and 1975, Yugoslavia organized postgraduate courses of EISD. And 2014 for the very first time, and again last year again. And it is my great pleasure to welcome you again in Opatia, in 36th uh, annual meeting of Diabetes and Nutrition Study Group of EISD. And I am very grateful to all team, organizing and scientific committee. My special gratitude goes to Professor Bozhikov, who, who was my uh, chair of department, my professor, my teacher, and my good friend. He helped me a lot and supported uh, during all my career. And he helped me a lot to organize this meeting as well. My gratitude goes to uh, Dr. Uh, Cyril uh, Kendall and also John Steven Piper. They helped us a lot in organizing and scientific committee. And Dr. Sonia Mayo for helping us uh, in selecting posters, oral presentations. It was a huge job, and I would like to express my gratitude again. And also to all pharma companies and uh, nutritional companies who supported us to, to organize that and to en enable to organize this meeting here. And again, I would like to welcome you in one small country in the middle of, of Europe. It's not in the middle of nowhere, it's in the middle of Europe. Small country in the shape of the a bird. It's a small country with 1,185 islands. Ladies and gentlemen, 1,185 islands. And also one special island in the, heart, uh, in the shape of the heart. And this island is really in Croatia. It's very popular because uh, it's popular uh, during Valentine's Day. And any single uh, year, you can find this all over the world. We are proud on our history. We are proud on our global forces and our soldiers because we won in previous domestic war. We had a war when we got independence. We are proud on our history, and I am proud to remind you that we are country, homeland of necktie. Can you imagine? That's the reason why we call that Kravata. It's from Croatia. Kravata, Croatia. So, 
I, I hope that uh, you will remember that as well. But we are also proud on our football team. I cannot, I cannot uh, finish my presentation with reminding you that uh, we have a very good football team. And I would like to remind you that we won Nigeria 2-0 a <laughs> few days ago. It was a great win. And also, it was Argentina, Croatia. It wasn't easy for us. It was very hard work, but it was very hard work for them as well. <laughs> but we won. <laughs> Argentina, Croatia, all free. And yesterday, thank you, and we have one, uh, another one. Yesterday, we were very proud to, to have Iceland, Croatia, and Iceland is a beautiful country. I was there for the diabetes nutrition study group annual meeting, and I was enjoying there. I got flushed from Gay's year, and I still remember that. But it was very difficult for us again, as you can see here. But again, we won. <laughs> Croatia, Iceland, 2-1. So, again, I'm glad that you will enjoy also uh, for World Cup games and uh, that you will have opportunity to, uh, to join us in great victory of Croatia, hopefully in next uh, game against Denmark. But I hope that you will have successful meeting, fruitful discussion, and also a very nice time here in Opatia. I hope that you will have opportunity to visit beautiful park and also beautiful Lungomare and beautiful park with those graphics which are very famous. I would like to express gratitude uh, to our colleagues from Rijeka, Professor uh, Dubravka Jurišić Cerjan. She is a local uh, uh, head of department, head of department of Rijeka University Hospital. In, uh, in Croatia and here um, close to Opatia. And I'm glad that she will join us uh, to this meeting, the Diabetes Nutrition Study Group Annual Meeting 2018. But yesterday we had one discussion regarding this logo. And I was asked, what does it mean? Is it macaron? <laughs> Is it macaron, this one? No, it's not Macron. <laughs> it's not Macron. It's Macaron. But it's Macaron, you know why? Because this means that Unite for Diabetes, this sign for IDF logo, but also this means that people with diabetes are not convicted uh, to live without sugar and without any cake. But for us, it's important to educate them how to balance their diet. As like George always said, helping others is good, but teaching them to help themselves is even better. Because all of us, we have the same goal, to achieve that our people with diabetes, our patients in our outpatient and inpatient clinic, will live long without any complications. Thank you very much.